What's good YouTube, Justo Farm here guys. And today for you guys got an update of our home theater, the 2020 update and also a Super Bowl setup guys for 2020 guys, the Super Bowl 54. Can't wait, so it's just a quick setup video I'm gonna show you guys on YouTube. So everyone that's watching and keeping up with the channel, they can see everything that's going on. So right here above the stove uh, fireplace right here, we have a 60 inch 4K TV with the LED backstrip lighting that I installed and everything. It looks beautiful in, in my opinion. And I got that hooked up to another 42 inch Sam, uh, Samsung or I think LG if I'm not wrong TV over there. I didn't bother putting the back strip lighting on right now because it didn't come in through Amazon. And I did a quick bar setup right there as well. Put some strip lighting there. And I also have the strip lighting to put underneath the poker table as well. That came in but I didn't really get a chance to do it. And I'm like might as well just make the video quickly. And you guys can see it's really nice. If you guys are wondering why the two TVs are there. Is because if you're playing poker or if you're sitting and watching, you don't gotta always turn your back and look at what's happening here. You can just look right there for whoever's sitting right here. They can just look directly right up and they can see. And I also plan to put another small TV right there in the bar as well. I can show you guys uh, how I did the bar. I have LED lights coming in that I have to go in these two little cubby holes right there. The top, you guys can see. That crown bottle, yeah, it's empty, but I put it there just for the hell of it so you guys can see how the light effect shows and everything got a dehumidifier down there i'm planning to put a mini bar fridge down there and a wine chiller as well by no means is this any sort of a fancy bar or anything like that in my old house i had two wet bars and those were i guess the fanciest bars you've ever seen so far i've seen youtube videos no one has a fancier bar than we've had you know what i mean we had like the wood the where you put your elbows on and everything for the rounding of the bar all that stuff came from italy we had the pillars in there and we had like, like I could say the largest bar ever probably made on YouTube and stuff like that. Not trying to brag or anything, but we've had our fair share of bars. You know what I mean? We had two bars, two wet bars in our whole house. One upstairs and one in the basement. There were definitely some good bars and stuff. A green night and everything and probably hundreds of bottles. Never overcrowded or anything like that. So just need to have extension cord down there helping everything powered up for there. Uh, the TVs really do help out really nicely and the strip lighting down here will make a huge difference for the setup right here And you can definitely tell let me hit the lights off And you guys can see the how the atmosphere really changes also be I'll turn the top highlights off you guys can see we have the kind of like a home theater Those theater lights going on those halogen ones I have to change these to LED so we'll be making an update on that soon You can definitely tell the difference I'll Turn those off and yeah, just a huge difference from before how the basement looked and everything. Uh, we, we had more stuff over here before. I was always going through different setups and whatnot, guys. And always changing my opinions around how I should do things, but definitely a nice setup. And they both audios are connected, so the audio is coming through both TVs at the same time. And yeah, got a nice spinning thing here for poker chips and everything, guys. And got the 24 karat gold plated cards. And yeah, also for the home theater, guys, we updated the steps too. I don't know if you guys can see, I installed those LED puck lights. So I'll be showing you guys that right now when I flip the switch or press the button. There you go, got them all turned on. Uh, it all depends on what angle you're facing and whatnot. If you're like, I was a little bit far from it, probably like, well, 8 to 10 feet. So that's why these ones didn't turn on because it was kind of angled. But overall, they always turn on properly. And it really does make a huge improvement in the home theater, guys. So I'll be showing you guys that. But before I head up there, let me just give a full wrap around here of what, how the setup is. So strip lighting back here. You guys can see. So LED strip lighting definitely makes a huge improvement on the stone and everything. There's the HDMI going down. And then I can change the colors on that and also the bar, however I wish, guys. But yeah, let's wrap this up and let's actually go head over to the home theater area slash bar or whatever you want to call it we're going up from there it's like a sports bar now guys and we'll be showing you guys the actual full setup guys all right so let's head up to the actual home theater area where we're actually be watching the super bowl this year guys if you guys haven't seen my last year's super bowl setup make sure you guys go check that out but kill the lights real quickly and you guys can see it really makes a huge improvement going up it's actually like a nice home theater as we head up I'm not going to go too in-depth. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, make sure you guys go check out the in-depth thing. We've got the computer here playing trailers and stuff. The bar, and I'll hit the switches real quickly. And yeah. So here we are in the home theater, guys. You guys can see the update. We got the huge 180-inch screen right here, guys. Looking beautiful. 
Switch over to our popcorn machine setup. And we got snow cone, we got the cotton candy machine as well, guys. But with general updates for 2020, what happened, guys? We added a 32 inch TV up there, guys. LED TV. Got the LED on the backlight as well. Got everything set up right above the popcorn machine. And it's all hooked up to the same HDMI, guys. Another 42 inch TV right here, guys. Hooked up with the strip lighting, like I said, on the back as well. This we can swing around, however, and that's just the HDMI and the power going down. And we got just Optimus Prime sitting there as well. A bunch of games, Xbox, you guys already know. I'm going through and in another video as well, guys. And then when you swing around, all the way, you guys know, we got the bar, the candy, all the candy bar over there, seating. A Richie Rich poster still got to put up. And one more TV right up there, guys. So you guys can see. Another 32-inch TV right there. That's just a little sensor it came off. I had electrical tape on that, so that you gotta definitely stick that back on. So that has the strip lighting as well, and you guys can see it's just it's crazy, guys. So a full, I think there's about three TVs here and another two down there. So you got five TVs, and I can have them all playing different things at at the same time, or actually playing the same video or movie at the same time. So we can watch Scarface or Goodfellas on every single TV, or have the news playing on one TV or whatnot. So the full length of the room is 35 feet. 35 feet all the way down there. You guys can see. It's definitely a hell of a setup, guys, for Super Bowl. So whichever way you're going, you got your food, got your chicken wings, you know, you got your back turned towards the projector or the TVs, and you want to at least watch the game. So as you're getting to your seat, you can at least still watch the game right up there, guys, which is one cool thing as well. And then if you're sitting down here, the actual ideal sitting position you can see that TV right there, you can see the game, and you can see another the game going on as well over there, especially if you're getting your snacks and drinks and whatever else you'd be getting. So if I kill the lights, guys, definitely you can see the projector really does much better in the dark, so that's one thing I like how I have it set up. The lighting right above the projector can turn off. Meanwhile, I can still have lighting all over here, so it's not like most average projector setups, if you guys know what I mean. Most people are sitting in the dark during Super Bowl, you can't even see who's eating what or whatnot, but definitely got to be able to see what you're eating. But you can see swing over to the popcorn area. Still have my more updates I'll be making in the future. I have a strip light to add down here and whatnot to light up all the um, snow cone flavors we have. I will think about adding some more things down here as well. It's definitely a huge improvement, guys. It makes it much better. It's hard to really tell in person how well the entire setup is but definitely in her like when you're actually here and not through the video you know what I mean you'd really see the all the TVs working properly and everything you can see in your actual peripheral vision nothing ever makes any issues or whatnot so same thing here we have it on swing swivel mount you can turn this over whichever side we want or angle and it's all hooked up nicely and yeah, we're running, I think, a 55 or 50 foot HDMI all the way from that TV all the way to a converter in there. And that's running everything. And also another, I think, 25 footer to that TV to this uh, converter down here. We have a converter HDMI splitter right there. So that's a pretty nice setup, guys, in my opinion. The Super Bowl is definitely crazy. If you guys are wondering why the TV's colors are a little bit off, it's because all the TVs are all on eco mode currently. Well, give another close up here, you guys can see. 32 inch here, another 32 inch on the popcorn machine, and a 42 inch in that corner there, right by when you're sitting. The quality is definitely great. It's definitely a huge improvement, and it's sitting right on top of these. Well, not only sitting right on top, it's wall mounted and everything. It's a swivel mount, and it's sitting on right pretty much, you can see, on top of the Serum Vega speakers as well. And let's not forget the this thing right here, my light I installed just for Scarface alone, guys, you guys can see Al Pacino. So that really makes a huge, definitely balances the entire room out with having the TV there and whatnot. I know some people are probably going to look crazy having these many TVs, but I think it's perfect, more than enough. <laughs> probably hook up a few more if I wish, but I think there's a certain power limit, especially having all these TVs on and whatnot. And then also probably do another future update on this as well. Plan to add some lighting to this. Probably some LED puck lights or something to make it so much better. And yeah, 
It's like the same thing, just come right back down the steps. And you come back over to the bar, grab your drinks or whatever. And this is the entire setup as well, guys. You get to see the lights on and everything. It's definitely crazy. But yeah, so this is where we have the 5.1 poke setup, if you guys are wondering. I just have to hook up a receiver to everything, get it all hooked up right now. I'm gonna get a stand because I've moved all the stands over there. And then in there, just store glasses for the bar and whatnot. But like I was saying, I'll add the photos in this video. I'll show you guys another video if I could find the actual photos on my old house's bar. So a huge, like huge difference. Like I don't even really, can't really compare that bar to any other house bars I've seen. You know what I mean? Because he spent a lot of money on that bar. He had everything custom made. And everything was really nice but this is definitely a, another house another different setup this time my dad let me do the setup in this house so this is how it turned out they're definitely happy and also one more thing i was thinking in the center here i was thinking of ordering a artificial grass and just putting it down here for super bowl like a huge artificial grass carpet and just have the football line spray painted on that and that would definitely throw it over the top but you never know it might just do that for 2021 super bowl this year I'm taking it slightly not that serious because uh, my team's not playing here. You know Tom Brady, I don't know what's going on. New England Patriots never made it. So let's see who wins, Kansas City or San Francisco. Let's see if the 49ers win, but Kansas, they're doing pretty good this year. And yet, you guys can see there's a plug right there in the wall, but when you're watching with the human eye, you can't really tell most of the time. But we're definitely going to be making a custom screen and getting it all done up as well. I'm hanging it as well. Right now, like I said, this is a complete budget setup. So I'm not bothering wasting too much money on the entire setup as well, guys. Because when I actually go full out on my home theater setup, I'm going to be making sure my basement has 2x6 construction for the studs and everything. And it's going to have at least 10 foot ceilings for sure in the home theater area. But this is more than enough, you guys can see. 35 foot long for light, and then I unscrew that bulb on the top because it kind of reflects on that TV and it makes a shadow on the screen as well. So yeah, you guys can see we have the monster power conditioner, but yeah guys, I'm not gonna go in too much in depth of the entire setup. I'll be showing you guys future videos as well, but definitely a huge improvement from before, especially when you can just watch everything going on guys. It's crazy. For the uh, towers back there, I'm gonna be adding some strip lights back there or probably some lights in the front. I did pick up some American DJ strobe lights to kind of have some strobe effects on it, but let's see how we wire that all up, guys. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy your Super Bowl this year too, guys. So this is the end of our home theater 2020 update slash Super Bowl setup, guys. Take care.